This video is a brief survey of the top 10 English translations for Catholics. It is based on a series of polls conducted at my YouTube channel in October of 2021. In 10th place is the Confraternity Translation. This is from 1941 and you're seeing a New Testament. This is a 2008 printing from Scepter Publishers. It's a Latin-based translation of the New Testament. Nice red headings in the text. Verse numbers alongside and bold chapter numbers. While the Confraternity Translation took 2.4% of the vote, this New Jerusalem Bible took 2.6%. The New Jerusalem Bible was a revision of the Jerusalem Bible, and it was printed in 1985. It is uh, here in a single column format, first numbers alongside, dark and bold headings in the text, paragraph format. It's rather smooth reading, uh, not very literal translation. In eighth place, with 2.7% of the vote, is the New American Bible Revised Edition. This is the edition that's used most frequently in churches in the United States of America. In seventh place, with 5.9% of the vote, is the Jerusalem Bible. I'm showing it here in three different formats. A very large hardback, a medium-sized imitation leather Bible, and the one on top here is in sheepskin. And rather than have the Jerusalem cross on top, it has JB in script. Here's a sentence for the format. This is a reader's edition without the notes at the bottom of the page. Rather extensive notes like those you saw in the New Jerusalem Bible a moment ago. In sixth place, with almost 6% of the vote, 5.9%, is the New Revised Standard Version Catholic Edition. I'm holding here a copy of the Illustrated Catholic Bible. And for many of these Bibles, you can see a complete review elsewhere on my channel. I also have a Catholic Bibles playlist that might be of interest to you. This is very nicely illustrated. In fifth place, with 9.9% .9 of the vote, is the Knox version. And you can see here the format is single column, a rather wide column with verse numbers alongside. I understand it's a relatively free translation. I don't know Latin, so I can't say that for a fact. But it does read as a free translation when compared to other Latin translations like the uh, Dewey Reims. There is no fourth place translation here because we have an exact tie between the Revised Standard Version Catholic Edition and the English Standard Version Catholic Edition for third place, both at 10.7% of the vote. The Revised Standard Version Catholic Edition was the edition published in, I believe, 1966, which left the then current Revised Standard Version unchanged in the Old Testament and made a series of minor changes in the New Testament. I believe they're back listed here in appendix, in an appendix at the back of the New Testament. So these are the changes here, appendix two, list of changes in the Revised Standard Version New Testament for the Catholic edition. We'll see in a moment the Revised Standard Version 2nd Catholic Edition, and it made changes to the Old Testament as well. The uh, Revised Standard Version Catholic Edition retained some of the archaic language uh, when it was used in reference to deity. Here's the edition that tied that. I have a copy here of the Augustine Bible. And again, I do have a full review of this on my YouTube channel. This is the English Standard Version with the additional deuterocanonical books in their proper order and with uh, a few minor changes to the text. 
In second place comes the Revised Standard Version, Second Catholic Edition. This is an Ignatius Press copy. Uh, RSV2C garnered 21.4% of the vote. This particular edition has cream paper, a not especially bold typeface, and um, sewn binding imitation leather cover with rather stiff hinges, so it does not uh, lie open for you. But altogether a very nice candidate for a rebind. And in first place, with 26% of the vote, comes the Douay Reims Bible. My copy here is uh, P.J. Kennedy and Sons edition. And you see it's formatted rather like the King James Version is. It has some terse, succinct footnotes on many pages, chapter summaries. Now, had we combined the Revised Standard Version and the Revised Standard Version Catholic Edition, the second and the first Catholic editions, they would have been in first place with 32.1% of the vote. The Dewey Reims Bible then would have dropped to second place, and the English Standard Version Catholic Edition would have taken sole possession of third place. Translations 10 through 5 would then move to 9 through 4, and the Revised New Jerusalem Bible would then take 10th place with 1.8% of the vote. And here is a copy of the Revised New Jerusalem Bible. This is a study edition from Image, and this is the way it is formatted, single column text bold headings in the text, and uh, a few notes. It's not heavily noted, annotated at all, but there are a few footnotes. So with that, we'll conclude this brief summary of Catholic Bibles. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, remember to subscribe if you're so inclined, like the video, and thank you very much for watching.